Sixth grade health. I teach ancient history. This is my sixth grade intro to design. Sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade health teacher. Eighth grade. And sixth grade now. I'm an eighth grade math teacher. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. You're not really getting rid of the curriculum. You're just doing the curriculum in a slightly different way. This is not something that's going to just go away. This is what education is becoming. Our kids are not necessarily sitting in their seats all the time. Okay, then everybody get up and start moving. It's active, we're getting up, we're doing things, we're moving. Let's have you all right here, grab some chairs and clump together. Learning the material is important, absolutely. But learning how to communicate, collaborate, and work with others is essential to their future. The real need now is solving real world problems. And that's not coming from memorization, that's not coming from vocabulary. Reading about the topic or whatever, you know, we will do that and review it like you normally would in an old school classroom but you have to take the words from the text and actually apply it. They need an opportunity to, to have more real experiences in the classroom. You talk a little bit more about careers and real life experiences and then they start thinking on their own. When we're talking about things like cups and ounces and milligrams, the kids don't really know what that means. So we're taking that science and math and integrating it in so they have a concept of what one ounce of protein looks like. I tell my kids that on the very first day that I see them, you know, this is health class, but yet I'm going to challenge you with other things, including science uh, standards and things like that, because it ties so much into the, the human body system. I monitor, I guide, um, you know, I may have to show how to do a certain procedure, but once I've done it, I just kind of stand back and let them experiment, and if they fail or if it doesn't work, then we try again. It works! I want them to have the problem solving skills, those get critical thinking skills to be able to work outside of the classroom as well. Um, so when we start these projects, I let them know there's no bad idea. We're going to share that. We're going to collaborate with each other and communicate. In seventh grade right now, as we're learning about human body systems, you do need to memorize what bone is where, what your thigh bone's called, what your arm bones are called. But then we're going in and we're applying it and saying, well, I know all these bones. I know all these uh, ligaments. I know all these tendons. How do they work together? These lessons are more enjoyable for me because these kids are actually learning something and having fun at the same time. When I got the opportunity to actually do more physical activities and things like that in class, I thought, I'm going to jump on that. Yeah, this is the one I'm the sucker for. I'm excited. I mean, I love it. Liking learning is essential. That if they don't like it, they're probably not going to remember it. I always ask my kids at the beginning of the year, how many of you like social studies? And I would say 80% of them uh, don't have their hands up, you know, or stand up if you don't like social studies. Almost all of them are standing. And so then I tell them, this is going to be your favorite class. And they're going to remember all of the fun, cool ways we learned the curriculum that we're supposed to cover.